Acute cholangitis, also called ascending cholangitis. Cholangitis means inflammation of the common bile duct, because the second name of the common bile duct is choledocus. Ascending tells us that bacteria from the duodenum can ascend into the common bile duct where they cause inflammation. And acute tells us that it's a very dangerous condition that causes very potent inflammation. Before pathogenesis, we have to recall the major concepts from physiology. Once bile is produced by the liver, bile through the bile ducts in come to the gallbladder. And gallbladder is the place where bile is stored until we consume some fatty food. Basically, the only function of the gallbladder is to store bile and to reabsorb water from the bile during the storage. So gallbladder makes bile more viscous and increasing viscosity creates some problems. Let's take for example cholesterol stones. So for example, we have a female patient with obesity that has a lot of children and also she is older than 40. So all these factors increase the amount of cholesterol in the blood and thereby the amount of cholesterol in the bile. And now such bile with very high amount of cholesterol income to the gallbladder. And after water reabsorption, the concentration of cholesterol becomes extremely high. Such state we call hypersaturation with cholesterol. And in this state, gallstones are formed very rapidly. So with time, finally, this causes formation of a cholesterol gallstone. And the presence of gallstone in the gallbladder we call cholelithiasis. And such stones inside the gallbladder remain totally asymptomatic. But after intake of the fatty meal, at some point, large amount of fatty acids income to the duodenum. In response to dietary lipids, eye cells of the duodenum secrete cholecystokinin. Cholecystokinin is a specific hormone that stimulates contractility of the gallbladder. So as a result, gallbladder contracts. And by this, gallbladder pushes bile together with cholesterol stone into the cystic duct. Recall that bile flow from the gallbladder into the common bile duct is equal to pressure inside the gallbladder minus pressure inside the common bile duct divided on resistance between them. So with contraction of the gallbladder, the pressure inside the gallbladder increase and as a result flow increase. So by contraction, gallbladder pushes bile through the cystic duct into the common bile duct. In ideal scenario, such gallstone freely pass through the cystic duct, then stone pass common bile duct and enters into the duodenum. And from the duodenum, such stone is excreted with the feces. But sometimes stone can pass cystic duct, but the same stone can cause obstruction of the common bile duct. Usually, such obstruction occurs in the region of the sphincter of Ori, because it's the most narrow location. And if stone causes obstruction of the common bile duct, we call this condition cholecholitiasis. First of all, with stone in the common bile duct, bile cannot pass into the duodenum. As a result, bile begins to accumulate in the common bile duct. First of all, accumulation of bile distends the walls of the common bile duct. Distension of the common bile duct is sensed by the nerve findings that carry the signal to the foregut autonomic nerves, that in response to this becomes activated and the activation produces an abrupt onset of dull pain in the abdomen. Because stone creates obstruction, gallbladder, despite numerous contractions, cannot provide flow of bile into the duodenum. Such numerous contractions of the gallbladder cause irritation of the diaphragm, which is sensed by phrenic nerve. And phrenic nerve carries the impulse to the cervical nerves. And as we know, from the cervical nerves originate supraclavicular nerves that innervate the back of the shoulder. So this pain impulse end up in supraclavicular nerves from the right side. And because these nerves innervate back of the right shoulder, we send this as pain in the back of the shoulder, or it can be just pain in the back. So biliary pain often radiates to the right shoulder or to the back, and paradoxically, biliary pain also manifests as shoulder pain or back pain. Accumulation of bile in the common bile duct called cholestasis. 
Bile contains a lot of bile acids and salts. Accumulation of bile acids and salts cause increase in ALP and GGT. Also, bile contains direct bilirubin. With accumulation of direct bilirubin in the common bile duct, some of the bilirubin undergo absorption into the blood. As a result, the level of direct bilirubin in the blood greatly increases. Increase in bilirubin causes jaundice and also, because the second road of bilirubin excretion is by urine, increase in direct bilirubin causes darkening of the urine. At some point, bile accumulates to the point where it leaks into the hepatic vein, and we call this condition cholangiovenous reflex. Without income of bile acids and bilirubin into the duodenum, stool becomes pale, because now there is no pigments to give stool a certain color. Another problem is that obstruction creates a perfect environment for bacteria. As you know, there are a lot of bacteria in the duodenum, and bacteria from the duodenum can ascend into the biliary tract. In normal condition, they are constantly washed out by the bile. But with obstruction, there is no bile flow to stop them. So without bile flow, they very rapidly invade common bile duct and then entire biliary tree. With massive invasion, they provoke inflammation. With inflammation, white blood cells increase, erythrocyte sedimentation rate increase, and also fever develops. With time, inflammation can progress to a septic shock. And with shock, first of all, heart rate increase, and also blood pressure decrease. In addition to this, confusion develops. This condition we call ascending cholangitis. Cholangitis means inflammation of the common bile duct. Ascending means that bacteria ascend from the duodenum into the common bile duct. Three most common symptoms, which are fever, jaundice, and right upper quadrant pain, we include into the Charcot triad. And if septic shock develops, then in addition to these three symptoms, hypertension and confusion develops. And together, these five symptoms form renal spentot. In addition to this, extremely severe cholestasis cause liver injury. And with liver injury, LT and ST increase. To visualize obstruction, usually we use ultrasound, where we can determine the dilation of the cholecystitis and dilation of the bile duct more than 7 mm is one of the major criteria of acute cholangitis.